Did you know that ML is being sold? Yes, even I was shocked to see this article stating that Moontoon is being sold. Everyone must be curious about what holds in the future of our beloved MLBB. So come, let's look deeper into the matter. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video, let me share with you my thoughts on the news that Moontoon is being sold. For people who don't know, Reuters, a news media outlet, published an article titled Cold Exclusive China's by Dense is talking to likely buyers about gaming unit Moontoon's sale. If you don't know who ByteDance is, it is the parent company of both Moontoon and TikTok. And since ByteDance is at very critical stage in the moment, they are planning to sell Moontoon itself. According to few articles I read online, it might be real as the usage of words was often. One of the two people said that the talks were still at an early stage and the deal was not guaranteed. If you pay close attention, nothing is being said as Moontoon is not being sold, it is only being said that the deal is not guaranteed, which could mean that ByteDance is really planning to sell Moontoon. The article also says that ByteDance has failed to launch many game studios. This bended a development studio called 101 Studio. After acquiring Moontoon, ByteDance was on an ambitious path to become a major player in the gaming industry. Of this strategy included the establishment of Studio 101 in Shanghai, following their acquisition of Mokun Technology in 2019. This move was a clear signal of ByteDance's intention to challenge Tencent's dominance in the gaming center. However, the journey wasn't smooth. China's strict regulations on content and licensing presented significant hurdles. These challenges, compounded by lengthy approval processes for games, created a tough environment for new entrants like Studio 101. Despite their ambitious start, ByteDance faced setbacks that led to closure of Studio 101, just three years after its inception. This was by then's first game development studio shutdown, resulting in the loss of over 100 jobs. The closure came amidst a historical crackdown by Chinese officials on tech sector, reflecting the broader challenges faced by companies in the Chinese gaming industry. This decision also marked a significant shift in by then's gaming strategy, highlighting the volatile nature of tech and gaming industries. The story of Studio 101 shed slide on the challenges ByteDance has faced in its gaming venture and could be a crucial factor in the decision to sell Moontoon. The regulatory environment, competitive pressures, and strategic realignments are elements that could influence the future of mobile agents under new ownership. As we ponder over Moontoon's next chapter, understanding ByteDance's journey with Studio 101 offers valuable insights into what lies ahead of our favorite game. So there are a few things I would like to discuss. One would be the impact of the game being sold. Two, what it could mean for us, the regular content creators. And three, what potential companies could buy Moontoon. If you're looking for 100% safe and secure diamonds, Kazuki Official Store is here to fulfill your need. We are trusted by more than 100k MLBB players from India, Philippines and Europe to visit our website and browse between various packs. First, let's discuss what would be the impact if the game were sold. First of all, if the company sold the game, it could go through a new phase like it did in 2021. But it all depends on the amount of funding it gets from the company it's being sold to. Let's rewind to 2021, a pivotal year for Moontoon. ByteDance, globally known for TikTok, made an ambitious leap into the gaming industry by acquiring Moontoon technology. This acquisition, valued at around $4 billion, was a strategic move by ByteDance to establish itself as a formidable player in the gaming sector, challenging Tencent's dominance. Moontoon recognized for its hit MOBA game, Mobile Legends, was a gem in the crown for ByteDance, bringing a loyal fan base and a strong presence, especially in Southeast Asia. Despite its independent operation post-acquisition, Moontoon's journey under ByteDance's umbrella was closely watched by the gaming community curious about the potential transformations. ByteDance's acquisition brought both excitement and uncertainty. 
Mobile Legends already a sensation in the MOBA world, so an infusion of resources and a strategic direction. ByteDance's expertise in digital platforms were expected to elevate the game's reach and engagement. However, the path wasn't smooth sailing. The shadow of copyright infringements, lawsuits by Tencent and Riot Games loomed over Moontoon, adding a layer of complexity to its operations. Mobile Legends continued to thrive, retaining the charm and expanding its user base. The game's evolution post-acquisition was a blend of strategic growth and navigation through legal hurdles, a testament to Moontoon's resilience in the face of adversity. If the funds given by the new company are less, then the game we all loved might be ruined. But this is all speculation. The next point is, how will it affect us, the content creators? As a content creator deeply invested in Mobile Legends, this news hits close to home. The future of Moontoon could significantly influence our content creation strategies. A change in ownership might bring new updates, features, or even a shift in the game core mechanic. This game's we need to stay agile, ready to adapt our content to resonate with the evolving dynamics of the game. It's time of uncertainty but also potential. We might see new avenues for creativity, different ways to engage with our audience and fresh challenges to keep our content vibrant and relevant. So in summary, we don't know what might happen but we have to stay prepared. That brings us to third and final point, what potential companies could own Moontoon. Most probably, it could be a Saudi-based company. Many reasons are pointing towards it. First of all, we are seeing many Saudi companies buying video game companies. The next reason is Moontoon's global official partner, Kidia. What we really have to pay attention is to the timing of the situation. Moontoon being sold out news came five days ago and Moontoon announced Kidia as their global partner. Isn't it strange? What do you guys think? Another few companies I can think of is Tencent. It is also a Chinese-based company and almost has a monopoly on mobile games. Purchasing Moontoon would mean that they would have a monopoly over MOBA games too. It would mean basically that they own all the major MOBA games. Yes, Tencent are the owner of Honor of Kings, League of Legends, Wild Rift and even Pokemon Unite. Correct me if I am wrong in the comment section. If they buy Moontoon, it means they are the biggest MOBA developers. The last company I think of, off the top of my head, would be EA Sport. Guys, we know Moneytoon. If EA buys it, it will become Mega Moneytoon, which we all don't want. So guys, what do you think? How can this affect MLBB? Will we be seeing a reformed MLBB soon? Share your thoughts in the comment section. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.